over the waves. And the Lord said, uh, some of you are just like that. You're like a net that he's cast that's about to, to plunge into the catch where there was nothing caught before. Uh, you're being positioned for the usefulness, for the divine destiny for which he's called you, and he wants you to understand what's taking place. I've been listening to this, and, uh, you know, this is um, uh, all things that I consider on a daily basis. And when you say that I've got my finger on the pulse of the, the, the economy, uh, you're, you're pretty accurate uh, when I am uh, – um, I am uh, on the computer and, and watching the the, the markets. Uh, it, I I've seen some pretty dramatic things uh, occur, and uh, sometimes it's something large like an earthquake or the tsunami. Uh, other times I've seen you know, just a, even a rumor of something can make the markets just go absolutely nuts. Uh, to the point that, uh, on as far from, from my business side, is the, the, what what I do depends upon volatility. It depends upon the movement up and down, one way or the other. Uh, but the, the, and so whenever stuff like that happens from a from a strict from a financial standpoint, on a personal level, it's little here or there. But the, the, the thing that that I do see that concerns me is that. Is that and there has been some prophecies and so forth about this uh, um, uh, the economy just and the banking system just coming just grinding to a halt and or at least uh, suspended and uh, I'm you know I think you know been a lot like I said we've, we've all heard a lot of prophecies and such about that and I believe that's you know very possible that that could happen. Um, uh, I was uh, after I got these these uh, links and considered. Uh, the Lord reminded me of uh, of uh, Noah and the, and the flood. And uh, it, during that, uh, He said, "You know, I didn't I I didn't keep them from it, but I brought them through it." And uh, there is uh, there 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 was a place he prepared a place for them to survive and and even uh, after a point to thrive. And uh, I believe that that is as we um, uh, have our finger, so to speak, on the pulse of the spirit, that God will show each of us uh, when, where, and how that that occurs. I mean that's. One of the reasons why why we're where we are is because God has sent us here. I mean, literally by by a dream uh, and uh, that my wife had, and um, um, I believe that um, that yeah, we're going to see this. But I also believe you know it's a, the, the old we've heard the term the best of times and the worst of times. You know, I agree that it's going to be that there's some tough times ahead. But by the same token. That uh, those very often and most most often will bring about revivals and uh, moves that that we haven't that uh, uh, we've only thought about heard about and uh, and I'm I'm seeing a, a, a certain degree of that where we're at when, uh, is that uh, um, that we're we're just on the cusp of seeing things that we've just dreamed of. That we've heard of is like I, I told somebody the other day. I said whenever I was growing up, I grew up in church, and you know, uh, um, my uh, me and us, his dad was a pastor, our grandfather was, and we grew up in the Bible, and and we just we didn't know any better. We just we were just you know we just were raised to believe. Hey, if the Bible says it, well then it's true. So if he says that these things you'll do and greater, you know, I'm I'm just silly enough that I believe that. And we haven't seen it yet, but God, you know, there's a there is a time and a place, and I believe we're going to see that time and place, uh, most likely sooner than later. And, and Roy, also you flow in a little different prophetic stream than than the rest of us in this conference call, and so uh, to the degree that I know uh, Ira Milligan and Jean Bacon, it's. Uh, which her names, they, these guys may not know, but you and I, of course, know them. 
what what are you hearing from them? If you can give us a synopsis uh, to the degree they speak to the uh, these issues. Well, one of the things that I've heard from both of them is that, uh, and we probably don't want to hear this. I know I personally don't want to hear it. <laughs> it is that is that uh, that Obama will get reelected? Uh, I've heard that over and over um, from them, among others, and uh, that uh, it's going to precipitate um, um, a lot of the judgments that uh, along the lines what. Uh, Walter, uh, um, the word that Walter had, um, they are uh, encouraging. Uh, I don't have that much contact with with Gene on a regular basis, but but I am heavily involved in the organization and the and the ministry that that I and the people that uh, I was um, associated with, and uh, they're encouraging. You know, do, doing the the common sense things as far as you know, preparing for tough times. I mean, you know, put aside some food, have some money, you know, have some cash, uh, not in the bank, you know, have means uh, uh, to survive uh, a short-term um, uh, crisis. Um, um, most people don't have the means and the resources to survive the, the, the long term. Um, the... Um, uh, they they uh, also you know would, we're, we're believing that there's there's going to be a, just a, a very strong move and revival uh, and you know of course you you posted some things and I posted some things on the internet uh, concerning that in Colorado uh, per, quite honestly for myself when I see this stuff happening I'm ready to head I'm not ready to head for the hills. I'm ready to head get, get out of Dodge. You know, I, if God would let me, I would consider a third world country someplace. But He's not letting me do that. You know, and He has pretty much said, you know, where we're at is where we're going to be for the for the duration. Uh, to the point that I've even uh, had a uh, had a prophetic word from from uh, somebody that I um, um, respect. And, uh, the, the ministry is that, that that I'll have a part in. The um, um, as far as this place, uh, this area, uh, surviving, and I believe that this, you know, they talk. You know, we've heard uh, stories of and um, people talking about um, survive uh, or um, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, cities of refuge, and uh, I believe this area will be for that. Um, um, and so, uh, again, it's, 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 if you're just looking with it, with fleshly eyes, it just, it's, it just scared, just scare you to death. But again, like you were saying, when the, 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 the worst of times, it seems like that that's, the people get desperate enough, then they cry out to God and that's when we see the revivals. I was watching, um, uh, Morning Star um, a video on God TV the other day, and um, um, Reinhard Bonnke was going to be the speaker, and they showed a clip of uh, his success in um, in showing the, the the masses of people uh, in Nigeria where he's ministered, and and they had I mean they had the, these huge meetings where. <sighs> I didn't see a one where there was less than a million people that were that that gave their life, that, that made decisions for Christ. And I'm going, and I'm watching this, and I'm going, God, that ain't the that, that ain't the mission field. We're the mission field. We need them here because we aren't seeing that here. But but at the same time, those people are desperate, and when people desperate people, you know, they'll pray out to God and. You know, I, I don't want to see those things. I like to have a comfortable life as much as anybody, but, but, but uh, we, it, it it may be that the and it it, it is the only way we're going to see the the kind of things that we're wanting to see the revival the this end time revival would probably is going to be be in the midst of the very darkest times, and uh, it's going if you aren't prepared for it. It's, it's spiritually, 
first of all, spiritually, you aren't prepared for it, uh, you, you're going to have massive troubles. And uh, I believe that um, uh, that God is giving us, he's a practical God. You know, there's, there's, there's practical things. People get off on the deep end of everything. And but but uh, people say, oh well, you know, you don't do any prepping and that kind of thing. Well, you know, you know, I'm I haven't got an AK-47, and, and but I do have some food put away, you know, and I do have, you know, I keep keep some cash available, and um, it's there's some things you just it, it's just a matter of common sense and God, you know, that that we do and we need to. Uh, we need to follow what the Lord says to do. I mean, on a one, you know, one-to-one basis. I mean, I, I could, I could go on and say some things about what you know, some things that God showed me for this this area, and uh, it's pretty dramatic. And with you know, without additional resources that I don't have, those things will never come about. But uh, I believe that there that there are uh, areas that will be established. Uh, for for people to go uh, to receive uh, food, shelter, medical attention, but those people will, will be hungry for the word. They'll be they'll be desperate. And and what I see is that is just like the missionaries that go over to to Africa and they'll they'll establish a medical mission. Well, they do it so they get people to come in schools. You know, they, they do it to get people to come so that they can witness Christ to them. And I, that's one of the things that that I see that's coming. A lot of the the principles that we've seen and used as missionaries, you know, in other countries, is going to come back home because we're going to need. <laughs> I'm, I'm listening to uh, these men uh, share their heart and also share the, you know, the the now word and the now. Uh, I'm I'm more I, I'm so optimistic. I'm. I don't know where I am on the map, and uh, that's the way God has wired me. I so uh, latch on to, and I sent uh, Russ a, a link to this teaching that I heard at uh, Los Angeles uh, recently at the Keys Conference by Johnny, by Johnny Enlow, and a few key points that I've latched on to is that the father looks different in the banking industry than he does in the home. He looks different uh, in in the mountain of of religion, and than he does in the mountain of arts um, and entertainment, and uh, you know everything that is that can be shaken will be shaken. Uh, but um, but Johnny uh, said at this time he said well he said uh, I've seen the angelic presence that God has sent. They're touching our shores, and, and a dramatic um, uh, angel uh, uh, for the um, for the family mountain touched down a rush rush uh, Heshana, uh, this year, and uh, these angels are sent in order for us to accomplish the will of God on earth as it is in heaven. And we are one word away. We are one sentence away from let there be light. You know, let there be um, a, a a culmination of the kingdom of God in the banking industry. And he kept on saying that there are angels sent to every one of these mandates of these mountain and these spheres of influence. And I latched on to that word because I believe the kingdom of God is increasing in the earth and let men's kingdoms decrease. And uh, so it excites me uh, to know that uh, the heart of the prophet has been spoken here of, of what what the father gave to gave the Walter is is the heart of a prophet in order to speak and to declare and to see that we, as uh, in in our different spheres of influence, have the heart of the Father to call His America to listen to the heart of uh, heart of the Father. Uh, that phrase just keeps on coming to me about this prophetic word. This is the heart of the Father word, and um, so. Um, 
I'm I'm just blessed to be on the phone call, and and in order to hear uh, Roy's perspective and what he is dealing in the, in the banking industry, and of course, uh, you know the prophetic flows in that, and um, and there's blessings for him um, <clears throat> to continually to um, to see God's provision um, in the in the movement of money. It's interesting how that uh, Jesus, when a uh, tax was needed, uh, Peter brought it to his attention uh, that a tax was needed, and Jesus uh, used the elements here on the earth in order to cause an increase, in order to pay a man's tax. Go throw your line in at a certain uh, river or brook, and, uh, you know, the first fish that... Uh, that is waiting uh, will come on come on the line. It'll be hooked. Pull the coin out of the fish's mouth, and there you go. Um, I think I think a dramatic trust in the belief um, uh, and faith uh, to create it at the moment um, in order to see the kingdom of God happen on a weekly, a daily and a weekly basis is is one that I step up and say, yes, Lord. Walter, can you give us a follow-up on those remarks? Yeah, I believe that, uh, I believe there are definitely going to be states of refuge, uh, places God's going to use. Uh, I'm living in one of them, and we're in the middle of nowhere, so to speak. Uh, but it's just uh, what God chooses to do but, you know, I, I believe the preparing needs to be done. Uh, I think there's a practical end of it. Again, uh, as Rory was saying, your food, uh, 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 lamp oil, candles. I mean, it's common sense stuff. You need to take care of them and get some things put back. But above all, this is the time to call on the one and only living God. And just make it clear, I'm, I'm willing to do whatever you're wanting me to do. Uh, this is the time when I believe he's moving on us. I agree with something that you just said earlier, Russ, and that's everyone on this phone call. Uh, there is a a specific call of God operating through you to be uh, at his beck and call because he's going to move through us to do certain things he would like to do. And maybe, you know... Uh, uh, some of us may have an internet ministry or, or whatever. That's beside the point. We're still uh, relatively, I believe we're nobodies, and God wants to use the nobodies. Uh, you said earlier about pockets. When I mentioned pockets of, of my presence, you said uh, pockets w- or prophets without pedigree. Uh, I believe God's calling the people out of uh, obscurity. Those who have never been known or seen doesn't matter. This is about a relationship and intimacy that we have uh, with our Lord, and that's what he focuses on to bring us into what he's saying and doing. I don't have a major fear about what's coming. Uh, I have an awareness that God is going to fill many of his people, and there will be uh, provision in some of the most Faith-shaking times. And I, I think people will be foolish not to think their, sh- their faith will get shook because we're going to go through some things at different times whenever that timing is right and, and those things happen. But we have to know that our God's going to be with us. And that's the number one way to prepare. And uh, yeah. I don't believe in people putting their head in the sand. we just got to realize these things are there and we're going to step up uh, to the plate and accept the fact that we're part of what God's doing. We're we're players in this. Uh, the people on this phone call, yes, and they, but there's a, a thousands, a hundred thousands of likes that God's going to say, step up and and let me minister through you, and and we're going to see. You.